you know, to fulfill the our missions, to be the first choices of uh, general aviation. So that is the, the, the trigger for us to commit uh, additional 250% of the uh, R&D funding for the future products and technologies, also including the fuel, because this is the entire industry's efforts. It's not only about the customers, it's also we want to commit to our future of the uh, general aviation for the future uh, aviators, you know, next generation. So that's the many things we the considerations about it. Yeah, so so for this is commitment is for global. So this is not only just for uh, Jet A or for Abigas, but for, for the for the good balance for our future products and more important is the technologies. So when we're talking about the, the technologies and we are working uh, actively with the OEMs, but for now we cannot share the, some un public you know information, but there's a lot uh, activists going going on for that and the right timing of course you will hear the uh, announcement um, for the fuels you know we already uh, submit officially submit the application to FAA for our expansion of the uh, alternative fuel for more than 100 uh, popular engine models which is including the uh, the old 200s IO 360s um, 0470s and IO 470s. You know, we, we believe in um, Continental. We believe the uh, the UL 91 and the 94 will be a uh, you know transitional steps for our for our future. Yeah. This is a global supply chain challenges, not only Continental. This is spread to all the industries, all the uh, countries. So. Um, um, we in Continental, we did a, a very good job. It's not only just finding a, a short-term solution. We are, we are we are implement a lot of long-term solutions. This is not definitely not overnight. So we start from internal first. So we have a, a better planning and and uh, 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 expand the capacities. Yes, this is a, um, a key priorities in our internal strategies. So. So for the legacy engines, we are really looking for um, you know 12 weeks now currently, but uh, soon in uh, after August we will announce the new lead time will be significantly improved. So for the Titan Prime, and uh, we are looking for probably is six to nine months for now, and uh, we are expanding. We are expanding for the capacity for uh, Prime and Titan. And also, like I mentioned earlier, we're expanding the supply chain uh, team as well. So we are looking for significant reduction for the lead time. And just stay tuned. After August, we'll have a, a better lead time announcement.